Dr. George, PMR often has symptoms that are vague and can be challenging to diagnose. Can you share your thoughts on the importance of raising awareness about PMR among healthcare providers? Yeah, I, I think that's definitely right. I mean, many people come to the office with shoulder pain or hip pain, but identifying when you should think about PMR is really important, especially when it comes on suddenly, there's new stiffness as a big part of it in an older person. What impact do you think a clearer understanding of diagnosis and prescribing patterns can have on patient outcomes? Well, I do think we need to know more about who's getting diagnosed with PMR, who's making that diagnosis, and how they do in follow-up. Because, you know, what we've observed is there can be two main ways that things go. One, that people are treated for a short time, do very well, come off of all treatment, and other people who need long-term treatment. And figuring out early on which group this is going to be and are we treating people appropriately, I think is very important. And what can community and patient advocacy organizations do to help build PMR awareness? Well, I think for, for you know, this is a very common condition for people who are older and knowing I need to ask my doctor about this or this is a question that I have in my mind so that they think about it. You know, raising awareness and thinking about it in the office is critically important. Some people might just suffer with this for months without even seeing their doctor. So I think it's really important.